Welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2021, brought to you by the power of Redark. Today, we are looking at past winner Mars and their new SpaceX. Glenn, this is a family camper and quite a common style. Who do you think it suits to buy and do you think it hits the nail on the head? Well, they're aiming the camper at the family with teens market with you know, 520 kilos of payload, good storage under the seats, the two big beds. I just thought it was brilliant that the batteries are stored under the floor in the middle of the camper where the, the load rating makes it good because it sits over the axle. But what it did was create so much space under the seats, something that is not seen in any other camper. I think also with the 14 adjustments on the tent to get it up, the kids will come in handy. In terms of comforts, how did you find the SpaceX from Mars? They're doing a good job there. We've got a uh, two queen size beds with 120 millimeter inner spring mattresses. You don't see that in every camper of this style. Yeah, it's good to see that um, the bed sizes on both ends of the camper here are the same size, sort of not quite a queen, a bit smaller than a queen, but bigger than a double. Inner spring mattresses, which is rare to see. It is possible just to lift that roof a little bit. When you're looking to pack, you can lift the roof a little bit just with a catch so that you can actually stock this camper with the roof down. Now that makes a really big difference when you're trying to get away for the weekend. That dinette that they had was configured quite sensibly with a, a rotating handle so you could raise and lower. In terms of those aspects, pretty comfortable, well set out camper. Yeah, I agree. And then from a self-sufficiency, I thought it wasn't too bad either. We had 200 litres of water on board, or two 100 litre tanks. They were permanently linked. And a 95 litre dual zone fridge, which I, I did appreciate. Now that wasn't included in the price though. The 200 hour AGM batteries were, as was the AC charger. And there are two nine kilo gas bottles. So I reckon you'd go okay for a few days off road with a family. Quality of finish for me above the belt line was okay. Below, the chassis had a few splatters of weld here and there, slightly masked by the hot dip gal, which was nice to see. But I did appreciate the fact that it did have a 150 by 50 full length chassis. So from the, the drawbar right to the back, as well as a thousand watt inverter. They're running the, uh, the Mars independent suspension and shock. So in terms of off-road ability, uh, you, you get what you pay for. As Glenn was saying, that, that center of gravity will be improved by the batteries being placed where they are. Massive fan of the amount of space in this bench. It's too hot as well. Yeah, there's good storage too underneath. There's all the drawers. At the lowest point under the camp was only 330 mil off the ground, so yeah, it might be a bit more suitable for parks. I think that's the sort of audience that this camp is uh, directed towards. At 28 grand uh, and for the five-year structure warranty. Do you think it was good value for money? Yeah, I think probably the biggest selling point of the camper is this price with a five-year warranty, which is pretty much industry standard. For somebody who's on a bit of a budget and uh, looking to get out there and be part of the camping scene without going over the top, this is a reasonable camper. I think the outstanding factor was a combination of basic good ideas the storage, the battery location that Glenn mentioned, the independent suspension, it's a combination of a whole lot of just basic good common sense ideas at a quite affordable price.